everyone, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, great 30 minute workout for you today. We're really gonna get the heart rates up with a combination of no repeat cardio and strength. Your format though is gonna be a little bit more challenging. We're gonna do 60 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. So that nice time frame there, that duration is gonna help us build muscle and burn fat. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, so grab those and we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Hey, if you're looking for more 30 minute workouts, there's a playlist. Click the card at the top of the screen and download one for another time this week. All right, let's go, let's move in. intensity intervals on my watch. All right, let's start with the side to side lunge. I'm taking it down low, but stay up high if you can't get down in this position. You definitely wanna warm up those inner thighs, glutes, quads, the whole bit. Today, I walked a lot this last week, lots of hikes, so legs are feeling it, no doubt. All right, good. Let's bring the legs a little closer together. We're gonna squat and hinge, all right? Squat and hinge. Nice flat back here. Just straightening those legs to stretch the hammies. Good, keep going. Four more now. And three. Oh, feels good. Two. Last one here. And there we go, wrap up. Let's roll the shoulders back here. And front rolls, get them up by your ears. All right, one arm circle here, big swing. Switch directions. All right, switch sides and roll it. Switch directions. Good, let's do some heel digs. Sweep and alternate. Two more here. All right, let's take a feet shoulder width, squat and reach right here. One more here, and we'll take it wide and open in the chest. Last one here. All right, I'm just gonna drop down, give a nice little torso stretch and reach. That's it, hold it for a second, and switch sides, and up. Oh, feels so good. And one more time, switch here. And switch to the other side. All right. There is your first four exercises. No repeat, 60 seconds is on the clock. We're starting with cardio. We're gonna do a jack squat. All right, that's your modification if you want the low impact. Otherwise, we'll kick it up. Get ready to sweat, folks. Here we go. Jack it here and squat. One full minute, mod as you need.
for that staggered deadlift front lunge. Now, we're gonna stay on the same side for 30 seconds, then we'll split. Start with your stagger, here we go. Deadlift into a lunge, same side. Here, take your time on that deadlift. Switch sides now. On my stagger, my foot's about a half a foot behind the other one. Okay, nice and flat on the ground. Heart rate is climbing already. Good, set those down. Elbow to knee, hand to toe. So that's your mod right there if you want the low impact. Otherwise, we'll kick it up. You're here and here. And then you'll go into a tate right here. Here we go. Chest press up and down. And then your tate right here. Up and down. Into tate. Good. Normally I pick 15s here, but I chose 12 just because of the volume. Right? Normally I do 12 reps. With a minute, I'll probably get in closer to 20. So think about that throughout. My weights that I use are listed after the exercise on the screen. Jab cross snowboarder. So you mod like this. Jab cross squat and then pivot. Here we go. Boom, boom, low jump. Here we go. One, two, low jump.
lunge lateral. 10 for me. I'll call halfway. I'm gonna lunge here. Lateral here. Reach that hip back. Keep your chin up. Last one here. All right, switch hands, take a step, and work. for a three-point plank. You're gonna bring it to Superman or Spider-Man rather in diagonal, then switch. Here we go, mod from the knees. You're here, straight in, diagonal switch. Nice and slow. Take your time, feel the crunch. This hurts wrists. You can just hold the plank from your elbows.
Uh, grab your tins for my lunge curl press. I'll put half in the legs. Curl press if you need to rest the legs. So your low curl press. Straight up and down with that lunge. Push through the heel or flat foot. Very good. Diagonal ice skaters. Hit a regular ice skater if you'd like. You'll nod right here, low tap to the front, low tap to the front. press watch your mouth feed your shoulder width shoulders back so goblet here turn and press good switch you got it don't arch your back and eyes stay forward okay they don't look at the dumbbell for this high-low punch. I just want to add a little bit of tension, but because it's a full minute, I'm not going to grab my fives, but feel free. No weight is good as well. There's your mod. Otherwise, kick it here and here, low and low.
very good. Taking it down to the ground for that renegade row, bear hopper step. I've got 15s. We'll row left and right, then walk or hop that bear hop in. So left and right, jump or step here. Pull the elbow straight to the ceiling.
12 on the ground. Woo. My crush grip. Tricep extension. Dumbbells are touching the whole time. All right, touch them together. Press them up. Overhead, watch your skull. Up and down. Now, if you don't have round, or if you don't have hex dumbbells, and you find they're too hard to hold together, just give a few inches of space in between. Over half, get those dumbbells closed if you can, touch them. Grab my light little twos again. Okay, I'm gonna do some squats, pulses. This is like an isometric contraction that kicks the heart rate up. We're gonna go wide, toes out, and then we'll switch halfway through. You're here, pulse. Shoulders low and back, let's go. Whew. All right, this little iso hold will start to burn. Activate all those muscle fibers, which kicks the heart rate up. Remember to breathe. We're gonna bring the legs, feet shoulder width apart in three, two, and one right here, and pulse. Ah, here, if you need the break. Oh, my Lanta. Stay in the pocket for four, three, two, and one. These sit small package on the ground. Stick with the small package to mod. Otherwise, we'll do both. We sit here, small package here. My sister's really good at these V-sits. We did them, in, well she did them, <laughs> in our hotel room in Quebec with my mother. <laughs> I just watched. I'm like, good for you ladies, good for you. It's funny. Halfway, let's go.
rise into squat, reverse deadlift, suitcase squat to start. I got 15s. And you squat, hips, and stand. Here's your side view. Okay, drop those hips all the way down to the ground. Low, hips, and stand. I got this exercise after a bigger competitor, Monica Brandt. I saw her do it. I'm like, oh, what is that called? She never said. I called it the Monica so I could remember. And that was 12 years ago, if you wondered. I guess I could call it a suitcase squat reverse deadlift or hip hinge. That's not as fun. All right, everyone, you've got 10 more seconds. Let's go, work hard. Push up in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Hiya! Love that. You move daily in your cardio strength, no repeat hit. That was really fun. Enjoy your stretch if you can. Hey, and don't forget to, we do have a super thanks on this channel now. So if you appreciate this channel and want to see it grow and the community grow as well, you can support us by clicking that link down there, right under the video. See ya in the next workout. That was so fun. Don't you think that was fun? Should we do standing stretch today? Let's hit some quads right here. I love that. I didn't even mind the one minutes. That went by so fast. Am I sure that was 30 minutes? <laughs> I'm like, I could have done more, but I've got a, a brunch date with an old friend, so any more would make my hair too sweaty. <laughs> Hey, sometimes we have other things that are priorities, you know, uh, but 30 minutes is great. A great way to get a good heart rate up and, and that should be the goal too, right? Is to really feel like you're puffed, okay? You want to increase that heart rate to get the blood flowing, get circulation going, which increases that BDNF, the brain derived neurotrophic factor up in the hippocampus region of the brain. Dr. Wendy Suzuki says, make it nice and fluffy by doing cardiovascular training. Uh, I mean, there wasn't a lot of strength training, obviously only about 15 minutes of strength, but that's a great way to get a full body workout in. And, you know, with having high volume like that, it keeps the heart rate up as well, doesn't it? So I thought it was great. I really, I liked it. Okay, let's go into a glute stretch here. Um, but I, you know, as often as you can, if you can, if you can make some of your sessions a little bit longer and really focus on that overload of the muscle, right? The volume that is required throughout the week to build muscle. If that's a goal of yours, then, you know, the long days that you can make it, you extend the time and then maybe even extend the rounds. I know some people like to just do no repeat. And that's fine depending on what your goals are, but if you want to build lean muscle or increase your muscle mass, overloading the muscle is really important for that, right? So remember that, you know, lots of people say to me, my triceps won't grow. I'm like, well, how many times a week and how many exercises per week do you do for them? And typically they'll do like, what, what do we do today? Two exercises for triceps? That is not going to cut it. <laughs> if you want to change what they look like. Hands behind the back, stretch, drop those shoulders, just tilt the neck and eyes to the sky there. So then I would do maybe a chest and tricep, isolated workout or a back and bicep, chest and tricep combination, you know, if that was a goal that I had right now. And for me, that is really what makes the arms pop, is that more focus lifting in your biceps, triceps and shoulders, right? And I have quite a few isolated workouts like that, especially in the membership. So if you're like, you know what, this season, maybe this summer, I'm really going to focus on building more muscle by putting time and effort into my training. If you have a little bit more time, join the membership and then go on the strength stream because the strength stream is very well scheduled workouts that target all of the areas of the body to help you build that nice, you know, muscular, well, not overly muscular because that would take a heck of a lot more than what we do, but muscular and strong, healthy physique, okay? Arms back, thumbs down. 
I know people that are afraid of heavy weights sometimes thinking they'll get bulky. The lion's share of people won't get bulky. It's really, really hard. Plus your nutrition has to be on point. Your, your supplementation has to be on point. Your sleep has to be on point. You know, no alcohol. <laughs> it's, to change your body composition really drastically and really put on a lot of muscle takes a lot of effort. So likely you'll just be able to maintain a nice structure and shape. You'll be able to shift, but it's not going to happen like overnight, just so you know. All right. Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. I'll see ya in the next workout.